Hello, I'm Cédric Olivier, uh, working for Orange as an OpenStack expert, as a network automation expert. I'm project technical leader of uh, OPNAV Funktest, part of uh, Anika TSC and uh, part of uh, Elephant Board as a developer representative. So I'm here to contribute to Anucat uh, because uh, we do also our command uh, cloud infrastructure issues. Um, we have we are creating Anuket as, for the same reason why we created OpenNV many years ago, mostly to ease the, uh, the, the NFV journey. So we are focusing now on a few common reference uh, architecture as opposed to OpenNV at the beginning, and we are switching from basic interoperability testing to true confirmance, where I'm contributing and Orange is expecting great results. So it's a big change uh, compared to the classical OpenNV release model, but it, we are closer to our end user needs now, whatever it's about the operators, the VN vendor, and the different actors. So Tom, Thomas, what's your, your thought and uh, your role um, in your company? Thank you, Cedric, for that uh, introduction. Uh, yes, my name is Thomas Fredberg. I work for Ericsson as a uh, cloud infrastructure architect. And uh, in Anuket, I come from the CNTT part of the reference model, uh, where we are sort of developing the, the input for the different reference architectures for OpenStack and Kubernetes and so on. And for us as a vendor, uh, it means a lot to be able to uh, tap into what the different operators uh, want to have out of their cloud infrastructure, as well as the alignment they are seeking uh, amongst the different virtual architecture functions. But it's a good opportunity for us to uh, speak with the operators, have a, an aligned view amongst our vendors to make it simpler to consume in, in a cloud way. And we're thrilled that Anuket is now uh, more bringing CNTT into a regular operation instead of the sort of the task force as it started. But we're really welcomed that. And uh, with that, I'll leave over to Uli. Yeah, my name is Uli Kleber. I'm working for Huawei as a standardization expert. So we feel that one of the big challenges now in our industry is to bring together telecom needs and cloud native architectures. So the, the basis of, for this effort is the NFV technology with its definition of an NFBI infrastructure, the virtualization, virtualized infrastructure management, and also the whole MANO stack. So CNTT did a lot of work for the NFBI infrastructure. And now with Anocut, the testing and conformance work of OPNFV gets closer to that. So this provides a really great opportunity to better align the understanding for the NFBI infrastructure and evolve the existing technologies in te telco networks to better adopt cloud native and telco needs. So. I think this opportunity will provide a, a very good step forward with Anucat now. With that, I hand over to Lincoln. Thank you, Yuli. So I'm Lincoln Lavoie with the University of New Hampshire Interoperability Lab, and I'm a TSC member uh, in the Anucat project. Uh, from my perspective, seeing the, the growth that the community has undertaken um, in the development of the combination of CNTT and OPNFV to, to form Anucat is, is instrumental. I mean. The, as the old adage goes, you know, for those of us that have been around a while, it's, it's always the same clowns in the different circus, right? So what we've done is we've, we've building the bigger circus, um, pulling everybody together. And, and it really is, you know, uniting the communities that are responsible from the service providers perspective with, you know, specifications and what they want that cloud infrastructure to be, you know, all the way through to, you know, reference implementation to then, you know, testing and validating those implementations. And that, bringing the community together like that and kind of trying to shortcut those feedback loops and stuff like that, I think is what really, you know, and is going to empower us to, you know, kind of take this to the next level and, and solve some of the, the cloud problems and challenges um, that everybody's talked about. So I, I don't know if you guys agree with that or if I, I'm jumping the mark on that, but that, that's definitely my perspective of, of what we're, you know, facing next. Yep. No, totally agree. And Cedric is on mute. Yes, yes, uh, fully, fully, fully agree. So we'll see how if uh, the community grows there in the next week. The, the scope is uh, very, very huge. We have to fix uh, 
all our issues. And I would say one of our next key challenge uh, is to agree on KPI and to integrate, uh, to integrate more benchmarking as well. That's a, a true uh, a true need. And also to quickly bootstrap the VNF and CNF onboarding uh, conformance suites. So the, the current ref the test suites are not that bad, very good. You could already run them. It gives confidence, but uh, I, I'm, wait I'm waiting for the next uh, VNF and CNF, on CNF onboarding uh, conformance suites. Yeah. Yes, and I, 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 Ahead, agree yeah. with that and and I, I think one of the challenges there will be to to take what we already have with the good conformance suites and combine that with all the new technologies and and the big challenge there is to bring in all the cloud native and container work and and running the same tests now it's not just uh, a simple step to go but it's really necessary and will make the work of anocat very valuable I think and yeah, I, I, I think so go ahead, Megan. I, I was going to say, I think Cedric hit on kind of a key point of, of looking at like the KPIs and stuff like that, because that's going to be a conversation that has to exist between, you know, all sets of the community, right? So it's going to need to exist from both the operator's perspective of like what their expectations are on that infrastructure and that, that need. And also, you know, the vendors, you know, with helping kind of set that of, of what they're they're able to deliver today and what they're going to be looking to deliver tomorrow, right? And like, we have to get kind of all those things aligned in, in the proverbial clouds, um, you know, to, to make this all go. And uh, I think that uh, another challenge that we are going to be facing soon as well is, is the inflow of new type of accelerators that's going to make it harder, both for the different reference architectures as well as for the testing that, that needs to be done because it becomes more heterogeneous in the data centers. And, the ability to handle that both for the software as well as for, for, the, uh, for the testing suites and so on and so forth will be key to success here. And there comes in other foras like ORAN and so on and so forth that definitely would, would need those accelerators to succeed. I, I, I will add as a key challenge also the, the automation part, uh, being able to deploy and test everything from scratch to the network services. So that's something we start. We started uh, in uh, in Anuket and CNTT, and we can leverage existing tools. But that that would be one of the key challenges as well to run the from scratch to the, the network services automatically to for the next steps. And it Absolutely. asks for a pipeline with different actors, so it's not as simple. But I'm very happy to see that uh, in uh, in our specification as well. So at, at the end of the day, I think we've, you know, this is a huge step forward. Um, I'm excited to see what the next year brings for many, many reasons, obviously, with, you know, where we've come from in 2020. So see, seeing, you know, this starting at the 2021 20, is, a, I think, a, a great kickoff for the year. Yep. Yes, fully agree. <laughs> yeah, fully agree. One. And maybe, and maybe that's on a good note to end it all as well. And uh, thank you for this time. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, yep. Yeah. I think that actually, yeah, you know, it was a, probably about a minute longer than um, ideal, but it actually was pretty good timing. Um, it seemed to flow well. Are y'all happy with that that take? Do you want to do another one? Or are you happy with that take? Happy with it. It's good. Yeah, I know when I do recordings, my first take as long as I don't make a huge error is often my best because I've, I've kind of got the right energy going on. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Yep. Right. All right. I'll sit through Brandon and see if he's happy with it. And uh, yeah, yep. we'll yep. I will send it to him. Um, and um, yeah, so I will stop recording right now. <laughs>